So today we're going to start on fin number three, and that's going to be pages 12 through, or nine through 12. And I'm going to have to rethink the design a little bit because this album is already starting to kind of alligator out. So I'm probably going to take some of the matting out of the design for nine through 12 and probably 13 through 16. But let's go over the design for page 12 and the materials. So page 12 is going to have, uh, when you first open it up, it's going to have a couple of Dutch doors. There are going to be some flaps uh, overlapping the Dutch doors, holding those, uh, an accordion that's underneath closed. And then when you open the Dutch doors all the way, there will be one more flap and then the base page. So, the flaps for the Dutch doors um, are going to be attached in the center. So, th this, this is one of the Dutch doors here. This flap is going to be attached down here and it will open this way. And then that will release the accordion that's underneath. And the Dutch door that's here at the bottom, the flap will be attached at the top. And when you open it up, that will release the accordion underneath that Dutch door. So let's talk about the materials and the measurements. So for 110 pound cardstock, we have the base page. This is four and a half inches wide by seven and a quarter inches tall. And we're gonna score that at half an inch on the four and a half inch side. And the other 110 pound cardstock is the Dutch doors. Those are four and three quarters inches wide, which we're gonna score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch by three and a half inches tall. And there are two of those. The accordions that are going to go underneath, there are a total of six of them, and they, they are 65 pound. They are four and a half inches wide, which we're going to score at half an inch, by three and a half inches tall. And the flaps that are going to hold the Dutch doors together, those are four inches wide by three and a half inches tall. And we're going to score the three and a half inch side at half an inch, and maybe again at the five eighths inch mark. And if I do that, then I'm gonna to have to retrim the mats and just trim an eighth of an inch off the top. And the flap that's gonna go underneath all that, but on top of the base page, is four and a half inches wide. We're gonna score that at half an inch by six and a quarter inches tall. Now, um, if I was gonna go back and do this again, I probably would insert some uh, custom gusset widths. So uh, I might put like a, in between fin one and two, I would probably put a three quarter inch gusset to help deal with the alligatoring issue. And I would probably do that again between uh, fin two and fin three. I don't know if I would do that between fin two, fin three and fin four yet. I'm not sure. So if I was gonna go back and do this again, I probably would have probably would have done three quarter inch gussets all the way around. Just because so many of these pages have quarter inch gussets on the sides. So let's talk about the mats for these pages. The base mat, is, I've got it set to be double matted. I might change that to single matting. The, the large mat is three and three quarters by seven. And then the smaller mat is three and a half by six and three quarters. And then the mat mats for the inner flap are three and a quarter by six. There are two of those. The mats for the accordion are three and three quarters by three and one quarter. And I'm probably not gonna use all uh, six of these, I think I got. I don't think I'm gonna use all six. The mats for the flaps are three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I might be cutting uh, an eighth of an inch off the top of that two and three quarters. And the mats for the Dutch doors are in here somewhere. Oh, no, oh, they're over here. Those are three and three quarters by three and a quarter. So let's get everything scored and then glued together. And then I need to figure out where all the different magnets need to go. And then we can mat everything.
actually ending up putting that together upside down, which once the photographs are in there, it's not going to be noticeable. That went pretty well. So let's get started on pages, let's see, that was page 9, 10, and 11. And those are going to look like this. So the idea is they look kind of like envelopes, which fits in with the whole love letters theme. These are not going to be flaps, so they're not going to be interactive. They're just going to be adhered down directly like this. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of, and then we'll get on to page number 12, which that one's going to be a challenge for me. Uh, fin number three, that's going to be page number 12, and page number 12 is going to have a flap mounted on the right side, I think. It's going to be mounted near on the side facing the spine, or closest to the spine. And this is 110 pound cardstock, the dimensions are four and three quarters. We're going to score at half an inch and three quarters of an inch by seven and a quarter. And on that flap, we're gonna have two pockets. And I've got it designed where there will be a pocket on the inside and a pocket on the outside. I may eliminate the inside pockets. We'll see. So the dimensions of the large pockets are five inches wide. We're gonna score it half an inch and four and a half inches. By five and three quarters inches tall, we're gonna score that at half an inch. And then the smaller pockets are five inches wide, scored at half an inch and four and a half, by two and three quarters, scored at half an inch. And the mats for these these are uh, this mat is three and three quarters by three and a quarter, and that's the one that's going to sit on this larger pocket. This is, there's two of these, and then there is, this one is three and three quarters by two and a quarter. This one's going to sit up here. And then on the smaller pockets, that's double matted, and it's three and three quarters by two inches for the larger mat, and the smaller mat is three and a half by one and three quarters. And that's all doubled up because the plan right now is to have stack pockets on both sides of this flap, so on the outside and on the inside. And then underneath, on the base page, we're going to have a belly band that is two inches wide by eight and a quarter inches tall. We're going to score the eight and a quarter side at half an inch and seven and three quarters. And on that, the pockets out of the way here, got all these mats. On that, we're going to have a waterfall, and it's going to be one of those interactive waterfalls, which I've never done before. Um, the waterfall pieces 
are two inches. Right now they're four inches. I'm going to cut a half inch off of that. Um, so they'll be two by three and a half. And there are six of those. And then underneath the belly band, we're going to have a folio. And it is seven inches wide. We're going to score it three and a half by six and a half inches tall. And the mat for the folio is going to be double matted. It's three and a quarter inches wide by six and a quarter inches tall. And the second mat is three inches wide by six inches tall. And the mats for the waterfall are half an inch wide by two inches tall. And then the mat for the base page is uh, three and three quarters by seven. And I'm not sure why I have two of those, but I'm sure I'll figure out why that is when we get to that point. And for the, the tab, uh, tab piece for the waterfall. These are 65 pound, uh, 65 pound cardstock. And this one is, these are 65 pound cardstock. And this one is 11 inches long. And this one is, I think seven inches long. I need overall 13 to 14 inches. And I don't have anything that is that long. So I'm gonna have to glue these pieces together to get there. And this is going to be the, the band that wraps around and holds everything in place while you slide it up and down. This is 110 pound cardstock and it is one and five eighths inches wide by two inches tall. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to assemble the belly band first and get the waterfall added to it.
I decided to forgo the pockets on the outside of the page just to get rid of some of the bulk and just mat it with a simple quick mat. If you enjoyed this page, be or if you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And that way when we get to fin number four, which should be in just a couple of days, you'll get a notification in your inbox. Bye.